Hey, good morning and welcome to this morning's devotional. Titled this devotional, We Are All Consumers and You Become What You Consume. Look, humans are consumers. We buy things, we eat things. However, we don't just consume food and buy things. We absorb things into our minds through what we see and what we hear. We've all heard the expression, right? Uh, Garbage in, garbage out. You are what you eat. However, we also have a tendency to become what we see and hear. In other words, if you listen and hear garbage, right, you may exude garbage. In addition, if you associate too much time with garbage, then garbage you may become. I've not been much about watching TV for a while. Now, I like movies. I'm a movie buff. Um, However, I'm a little bit more selective, especially since I became a Christian. I think with news and watching news, I liked watching news. I like to stay up on current events. However, after this most recent election year, I've invested a lot less time in the news. Unfortunately, a lot of news seems to become more biased or slanted or not exactly accurate, right, or even untruthful. And much of the news programs were rather negative, repetitive, or over-sensationalized. So once I started cutting back on the news, and I didn't cut back on all the news, I get my daily briefing at times, some email excerpts, but when I cut back on watching the continuous news programs, the repetitiveness of it, the negativity, right, the slanted, the bias of it, when I started cutting that out, I began to feel a lot less stressed or anxious, felt more relaxed, and I was able to capture more time for things that are more meaningful, productive, and proactive. Although I like movies, I consider myself a movie buff, and if you know me, I'll have one-liners or I'll quote movie lines uh, quite frequently or insert them in conversations. However, I can be rather selective, especially once I became a Christian. I also don't spend too much time on video games like I did when I was younger. Now, I do like video games, right? I do uh, like sharing them with my friends and with my son, my children. However, I limit at that time, and I can be a little bit more selective. Now, before someone thinks I'm uh, being a prude or too overly cautious or strict, and I don't like to have fun, you would be wrong. I simply have discovered, first of all, time is too priceless and precious to waste it, right? And I realize a person may become affected by not just what they eat, but what they often see and hear in addition to what they eat. So this leads me to a great verse. One of the verses I want to share among several in this particular devotional comes from Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. This is a great verse. It's great instruction. You must take control and proactively manage what you eat see and hear. You must control what you think and the way you think. If you focus on the negative, spend too much time thinking about the past, your mistakes, ruminating over that, you can actually dig a trench within your mind. Negatively thinking, being around negative people, being around negative influences, having all this garbage in, you ruminate about it, you think about it, you become down, depressed, you're building this trench that you may not be able to escape without professional help or possibly even medication. You, we all must renew our mind and cognitively manage our thoughts with all the negative influences, negative programming on the airways and this ongoing spiritual battle that wages every day. We must strive to renew our minds on a daily, if not sometimes hourly basis. This leads me to another great verse I want to share with you. It comes from 2 Corinthians 10.5. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. Did you hear that? We take every thought captive to obey Christ. That's 2 Corinthians 10.5. Another wonderful verse. Bring your Bibles out. Philippians 4.8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Again, that was Philippians 4, 8. If what you consume, whether by eating, hearing, or associating with, is not good 
honorable, right? Commendable or in pursuit of excellence, then stop it. Stop it right now. Change it. This is also with the company that a person keeps. It is true that a person tends to become the average of their five closest friends. If most of your friends are passionate, optimistic, energetic, goal setters, goal achievers, a person will naturally tend to lean towards the same. If your friends thirst after knowledge, they're wise, right? They're readers. They go after things that improve themselves. You will naturally tend to lean towards the same. If you invest most of your time with troublemakers, you may get caught up in trouble yourself. If you invest your time with negative, pessimistic, stagnant, complacent people, then you are naturally lean towards the same trap of self-defeating, right? Thought patterns and behaviors. So when you are choosing your friends and to whom you keep most of your company with, you should choose wisely. It is true what the Bible says. Psalms 1, 1 through 16. Read along with me. Listen to these words. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. And all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Again, that Psalm 1, 1 through 16, another great verse. Proverbs 19, 20, listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future. Proverbs 12, 26, the righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way the wicked leads them astray. Proverbs 22, 24 through 25. Do not make friends with a hot-tempered person. Do not associate with one easily angered, or you may learn their ways and get yourself ensnared. Proverbs is a great book. It's a, often referred to as the book of wisdom. I highly recommend reading it. Maybe do a 31-day Proverbs challenge. I've done a few of those, 31-day Proverbs challenge. So basically what you do, you read a chapter of Proverbs for the 31 days, each day of the month. Now, I've done it myself. I've done it with others. In fact, it's here on my YouTube channel. I'll have the description uh, below and a link if you want to walk through those with me and others that have joined me. Great challenge. Look, yeah. It's true. We are all consumers. However, we have a choice in what we consume, right? We have a choice in what we eat, what we bring into our body. If it's healthy eating, clean eating, right? We have a choice in what we consume and eat into our body. We also have a choice in what we see, what we view often, right? Whether it's bad television programming, gore, extreme violence, right? What we're visualizing, right? What we're taking into our minds and our souls through our eyes. In addition to what we hear and what we listen to, if we listen to a lot of garbage, a lot of violence, a lot of coarseness, right? That will tend to come out in your behaviors, your actions and deeds. It will. And we have the power to choose, the control to choose what we think on, what we concentrate on. We should take captive of our thought. In addition, we have the ability and the power to choose who we invest the majority of our time with, who our circle of influences are, because you do become the average of your five closest friends. And you should choose wisely wisely, what you eat, what you hear, what you see, and whom you associate with. Choose wisely. And while you're at it, may you launch each day, each new day, the blessing of a gift of each new day with purpose. Navigate with principles and explore with passion.